Dear learners, welcome to NIS course on sociology at senior secondary level. Earlier we have discussed about cooperation as a part of lesson 10, cooperation, competition, conflict. Now we will discuss about what is competition and what is conflict and how cooperation, competition, conflict are both related to each other. Let us discuss what is competition. Like cooperation, competition is also one form of social interaction. Competition is struggle between individual or groups, individuals who are not necessarily in contact and communication. Competition, however, is continuous, impersonal and unconscious force struggle between individuals or groups of satisfaction of their unlimited ones. As we have discussed earlier, cooperation is where the people are come together for certain particular purpose. But here, individual groups are compete for their own wants or one goals. As you know, as a member of society, everyone also wants to gain economic status, social status. So we struggle with each other to have some uh, economic status. We can say that competition is a struggle to, for the position to gain economic status. The status of the individual or a group of individuals in the social order is determined by several indicators such as income, wealth, social status, political power, education, etc. So we can say competition is defined as a context to obtain something which does not exist in, in inadequate quantity to meet the demand. As you know in social situation now, there are many individuals they are competing for the jobs and their jobs is very scarce. So what is happening that everyone is competing with each other. Even in a society, there are many individuals they are friends to each other but they don't tell each other that there is advertisement in the a company. Because they feel that if I will tell that person that is, then it may happen that I may not, may not get the job. So we can say that in a market or in a society, everyone is competing with each other. But as an individual, we should not do that. We should always be competing with each other in a positive manner. Competition also refers to a social process where individuals and groups try to acquire features, cars such as goods, commodities, services, social position, political power, economic and occupational opportunities. As I told you, there are few jobs and there are many individuals they have completed their education and they are in the market so we can say that it is a close con uh, competition it is a close uh, struggle between individuals and groups everybody wants to have these items but these are very few as i told you the job are very, jobs are very scarce and there are many individuals for the job society believes in a giving equal chance to all the members to have access to these scarce items so we can say that competition is a social process. So we can say that competition is a social process which characterizes interaction process in a formal institution setup. For example, in a school and college, the students compete with one another for securing highest marks. Similarly, you can say that there are many cricketers in India, but there are only 11 sports that they can represent in the international level. So we can say that competition is very high, that is competition at the all India level. There are rules for all these competitions. A person who performs best follows following all the rules with the competition and gets the award. Now we can discuss what are the characteristics of competition. Competition is a impersonal struggle. How? Competition is a normally directed towards a goal and not against any individual. You can take an example of civil services examination. Every year we have an examination conducted by UPSC, but there are many takers. There are more than 10 lakh individuals who compete for civil services and they appear and then they qualify. Competition is mainly an unconscious activity, but at times conscious competition also takes place. Many times individuals, those who are engaged in a competition may become oblivious of the fact that they are in a competitive race. You can say that in a particular coaching center, people are uh, taking the coaching for competitive examination. But in, at some time, uh, they become oblivious of, uh, to each other also. At times, competition can be vicious both for individuals and groups. It may create emotional disturbances. Unfair competition has the most disintegrating effect. Suppose you can say that in a particular class, two students are competing each other for having the first position in those class. So sometimes it happens that they also become enemy for some point of time because they feel that if I share all the information with another friend, they, it may happen that I may not become the first position, I may not take the first position in the school or in the class, class situation. I also suggest uh, learners that they should not do all these things because you have to go for a long goal. 
Competition also universal. Competition is characteristic feature in modern society. It is also found in all societies, primitive, traditional, modern, period, and in every age. Even you go to US there, you can find the competition is also there, like you find in India. It is also found in rural areas and also in the urban areas. So we cannot say that it is only a modern phenomenon or it is only found in the urban societies. Competition is also regarded as the condition for progress. Here competition is conducive to economic as well as social progress and even to general welfare. Because it supports individuals and groups to exert the best efforts. You may find that whenever you go to market, you find that you will bargain with many uh, shopkeepers will find that you may get some uh, uh, commodities at a cheaper price. So it, because it finds that competition is already there, so the shopkeeper who will not, who won't have the better quality and at the lesser cost, so you know, that product may not be sold. So we can say the competition is always also important for the co de development of economic and so social progress. Now we can discuss what is conflict. Conflict is another form of social process. It is one form of struggle between individuals or groups. Why, how the process of conflict arises? It arises when the norms and values of one group or individuals clash with that of other or when a group struggles for its own values and objects against others. So we can say the conflict is also universal. It is also found in other societies like as we find in case of competition. Why conflict takes place? Conflict takes place whenever a personal group seeks to gain reward not by surpassing other competitors but by preventing them from effectively competing. You might have seen in many cases that people, those who are going for sports, they are also uh, in con conflict with each other. They also file a, a case against one or other sports person because of simple reasons. Now we can discuss about the difference between competition and conflict. In competition, rules are observed but in conflict there are primarily no rules. Conflict situation emerged when the interest of interacting individuals or groups class with one another. The most common example are conflict between caste, two caste groups in a village or conflict between different political parties at the local level. You might have seen in a village or in cities there are, there are two groups, they are observing Ganesh Puja. So they are competing with each other that our group should do in a proper manner, our group should do in a uh, a very good man so that we will get the appreciation from the, all the villagers. So we can say that there is a con competition. So, but in case of when the conflict happens between two caste groups in villages because of political uh, rivalry that is called conflict. Conflict has certain positive consequences for the society, at least it recognizes the divergent opinions and new points of views and become quite instrumental in bringing about social change. You might have there, found that there are two groups in a village or in a society. So when uh, they conflict, it found that the best opinion also come out of that. So that, that leads to social change in a village or in a community. Now we can discuss the characteristics of conflict. Conflict is also universal as I told you that as we found that competition is found in all societies. Similarly, conflict also found in all societies, found in rural, rural society, it is also found in the modern society, it is also found in the urban society. So it is universal. Conflict is a conscious action. The members involved in it deliberately approach one another for achieving their respective goals. As I told you, if you go to uh, in a particular playground, you will find that there, there are two groups, they are playing with each other and they also, uh, because they found that if we will promote our goal, then we will able to achieve our own goal. We can also take the example of club also. There are two clubs in a village. And they, uh, if they perform a um, better function and they, they thought that if we we'll do some activities in proper, we will get all the appreciation. So, so sometimes they oppose one another to achieve their respective goals. Conflict is not a continuous process. For example, we can say that in a particular village, there are two groups may be conflicting with each other to achieve their own goal. But after some time, they also follow the path of peace and tranquility. Conflict primarily remains a personal activity. At times, it acquires greater intensity and involves mainly many people. In such cases, it is a manifest at the level of particular social group or it might involve entire society. It also leads to social change. As I told you, conflict also, competition also leads to social change. Similarly, conflicting ideas and conflicting opinions are precondition of social change. 
if a society continues to remain the state of equilibrium it will remain static unless there is a social disequilibrium suppose if we look at uh, case of india india might not have come to such a stage if if there are two groups not competing with each other for a particular ideology we also say that there is a left ideology there is a right ideology also in the country so because of that we are getting better input we get better uh, framework for the development of our country so sometimes conflict also better for the society now we can discuss there are different types of conflict conflict can be of various types they are war litigation and conflict of impersonal ideas similarly it, it also can be the manifest type and latent type what is manifest type the manifest type conflict can be observed but the latent conflict primarily remains invisible what is corporate conflict corporate conflict occurs among the groups within a society or between two societies as i told you there are two groups in a village so we can say that is called corporate conflict similar strike by laborers and war between nation etc can be corporate conflict whereas personal conflict between groups due to hostility or jealousy and conflict can also be uh, temporary or also perpetual conflict between individuals on a roadside village shop city bus are the example of ephemeral conflict such as such conflict do not last over for a long period of time people generally target forget and come back to normal life conflict between two rival groups of village are the example of perpetual conflict it is stressed over a long period of time and sometimes it extends over several generation however there are intermittent period of peace and social harmony followed with period of conflict now we can discuss how cooperation competition and conflict as social continuum how both are related to each other and how all of them are essential for the society the process of co cooperation competition conflict are the basis of all form of social interaction however people can cooperate with one another or could enter into conflict depending on the situation for example candidates competing for the job might do the preparation together they are notes and they might get jealous of each other it normal happens suppose in a school you might find that the both are uh, best friend in a school but after when they found that one person get the first position and another is have the second position they then they become jealous of each other sometimes they don't talk to each other for short period of time and after that they become the friend so we can say that competition conflict and cooperation are existing everywhere in the world or in every society in rural society and also in the urban society the nature and extent of these processes may vary according to the distinctive local social and cultural condition however their process is universal and considered as a social continuum you might have found that there are two friends they are not uh, talking to each other when they are in the village because they they are uh, studying in different schools or in different colleges but when they come to town or to cities they become the friend and they cooperate with each other so we can say that both cooperation conflict competition and conflict are essential for the survival of society and also the development of individual as well so dear learners till now we have discussed about what is competition conflict and how cooperation competition conflict at social continuum so in this lesson we discuss about competition is struggle for position to gain economic status and conflict is another form of social interaction is a process of social opposition thank you very much Thank you.